Thank you so much. Uh, this is the Longwood University Jazz Ensemble, and uh, we are very pleased that you would come out and share a Tuesday night evening or Tuesday evening's worth of music with us. Uh, the first tune that we played uh, was entitled The Blues Walk. It was written by Clifford Brown, uh, but that was an arrangement that I made several years ago, several decades ago. Uh, that was patterned after a, uh, an album that at the time was well known by a singer named Lyle Lovett. Uh, and so if you're familiar with that, that's our tribute to, to him. Um, it's a standard jazz blues tune, kind of an up-tempo swing. And we featured a couple of soloists on it. Tyler Cosley, a first year music major, played on the tenor sax. And you also heard from Octavio Rosas Dominguez, a second year music major from Arlington, Virginia, on the guitar. Oh, I should have mentioned as well that that tune featured the drumming of Mr. Mark Smith. Uh, Mark is back there at the conga drums now. And we'll change drummers and we'll change styles for the uh, next tune. Uh, ben Bunnell will join us at the trap set now. And uh, we have an arrangement of a Steely Dan tune entitled Black Cow. This one will also feature Kevin Jocks on the alto saxophone. So here's Black Cow.
Thank you. Steely Dan's Black Cow. Ben Bunnell on the drums. Kevin Jocks on the alto saxophone. We'll shift gears again. We've got a we're a pretty shifty group. We've got a lot of gears, <laughs> so uh, we just played a up tempo swing tune for you. We played a '70s rock tune, and now we're going to go back to the late 1940s and investigate uh, the beginnings of Latin music in jazz and so-called Afro-Cuban music. Uh, the name of the tune is Manteca, and it's uh, always been associated with its composer John Burke's Dizzy Gillespie, a uh, fabulous jazz trumpet player uh, for years and years, but who got his start during the World War II era playing this new kind of music called bebop. And then he, pretty soon after that, he rather famously adapted his style to uh, Cuban music with all of the uh, conga drums and new rhythms. And it was just quite the, quite the thing in the 1950s in the modern jazz world. And so this was a, a, a big hit in about 1948. And uh, we have an arrangement done by Mike Tamaro, who made a long career with the United States military bands. He's just a fabulous arranger for uh, this type of group. And our performance will feature several soloists. You'll hear from Seth Seward on the alto saxophone and also Brandon Glass on the trumpet. So here's Dizzy Gillespie's Manteca.
Thank you. So, a, a couple extra added details. Brandon Glass on the vocal at the beginning. <laughs> and also Jacob Dawson on the piano. Jacob's a first year music major from Richmond. And our horn soloist, Brandon Glass, and also uh, Seth Seward. Seth is a new student here in his first year in the nursing program. So please welcome Seth Seward. We'll follow that with uh, a piece from the Count Basie Library. So our first tune, the Blues Walk, we featured Mark Smith on the drums with uh, some of the alternations back and forth between the band. We're going to explore that a little bit further, uh, but we'll give Mark a new challenge. We'll have him play with brushes on the drums and uh, he'll play even more interaction with the orchestra over here in this one. The title of this is Cute, and this was a famous drum feature for decades in the Count Basie, if you went to one of their concerts, they would always feature the drummer on this tune. And so it's sort of a rite of passage, and this is Mark Smith's turn to present uh, Cute from Count Basie.
Smith on the drums with Q. I should also mention on that one the, uh, the walking bass line played by Corey St. John on the electric bass. Please give Corey a round of applause. Just ask the guys, have we even been playing for 15 minutes? It seems to me like it's going, really, going by really fast. We worked on this music all semester, and so uh, somehow this all seems brief. But uh, our moment of glory is here. So the next thing on our program is uh, a special treat for you. We, in the music department here, we welcomed a new faculty member this fall. And uh, we have him here tonight to play a solo with the, with the jazz ensemble. Uh, his name is Dr. Kevin Callahan, and many of you, perhaps most of you, have already met him as uh, the director of the Longwood University Wind Symphony. He gave a great concert a couple of weeks ago. We had another concert over in um, the Weigel Music Building just last week uh, that Dr. Callahan coordinated and directed most all of the music uh, for that with the, with the chamber winds. And then we have uh, performances at the end of the semester at the holiday dinner where you'll see him once again directing uh, an ensemble with the Wind Symphony there. Uh, tonight we're going to feature him as a player. Uh, Dr. Callahan uh, teaches low brass instruments here at Longwood. He plays the euphonium and the tuba and the trombone. And uh, these are just kind of part of his talents. He teaches music theory uh, for us as well and all kinds of uh, other classes that have to do with music education. He has a long career, uh, although he's very young, but he has a long career uh, behind him now in the state of Kentucky where he served as a high school band director and he served four years on the faculty at Kentucky Wesleyan College. Uh, in 2018, he completed his doctorate in wind conducting and trombone performance from the University of Kentucky. And tonight he's here with us to play uh, the beautiful jazz ballad, When I Fall in Love. Please welcome Dr. Kevin Callahan.
Got the Kevin Callahan on the trombone. It's quiet in here. Uh, <laughs> usually a little more rowdy than this at the jazz nightclub. But uh, anyway, feel free to you know scream out or anything like that if you like while we're while we're playing. Uh, it is part of the tradition. Uh, the, we're going to shift gears once again. Uh, now we'll play something that's in a lot more recent uh, sort of a groove. This is actually. Uh, the way that hip hop music has kind of evolved itself into uh, or been adapted for use by this type of band. Uh, so the next tune is entitled Feather Report, which is a, a pun uh, a, regarding the group of the famous or the name of the famous jazz group Weather Report. Uh, but it's been refashioned to Feather Report because the composer of this has created a series of tunes for jazz ensembles that all have some reference to a chicken in the title. This is just a kind of a quirk of his, but uh, he, uh, Chris Berg has produced a, a wonderful series of about eight or nine different uh, tunes. And this one is in probably the most modern groove of all of them. It will feature uh, Mark Smith on the drums. It will feature Brian Searcy, a second year music major from Powhatan on the tenor saxophone playing a solo. And who else? Nobody else. Okay, so I'll take this moment to draw your attention to uh, half of our trombone section tonight. Um, I'd like to welcome two alumni of this band who are sitting in with us tonight to help us out on the concert. Uh, on the end, Mr. Carlton Hobbs, the LU alum, 2014. And next to him, uh, Mr. Jordan Smith, who is a Longwood University alum, 2019. So watch out for them on this one. This one is entitled Feather Report.
Do. Feather Report. Mark Smith on the drums, Brian Searcy on the tenor saxophone. We're going to shift those gears again. Um, now we'll dive back into the history of jazz and pop music and so forth in America. And uh, we'll, we can all feel kind of patriotic at this point. We're going to play some music from the Glenn Miller Band, which is uh, all that famous swing music from right around World War II time. Uh, of course, Glenn Miller's band had probably the top number one hit piece of music of the entire 20th century. Um, oh, the name of which just went right out of my mind. <laughs> oh yeah, thanks Kevin. It was In the Mood. Ah, remember that one? Uh, this is their other big hit. Uh, this one is entitled A String of Pearls, and I believe this should, will be recognizable to everybody in the audience. If not, it's high time you learned it. And uh, our performance of it will feature Kevin Jocks on the alto saxophone, and uh, then you'll also hear from Caitlin Cheatham on the trumpet. So this is Glenn Miller's A String of Pearls.
Jimmy Pearls featured the saxophone section, the trumpet section, and then also featured Kevin uh, on the alto saxophone and Caitlin on the trumpet. So I'd like to thank everybody once again um, for joining us for an evening of jazz, uh, several different types of tunes. You got to hear some of the uh, good musicians here on the Longwood campus do their thing. We've had a good time working on this music all semester. I've enjoyed very much working with, uh, working with this group of musicians. We're not quite done with our semester. We have a few weeks left of classes and then we'll have final exams. Uh, as far as the music department goes, we've still got some student recitals and uh, several different events, but the culmination of the semester will be our holiday dinner performances, which are on Saturday night, December the 6th and December the 7th. Uh, and then we will all tumble exhaustedly into exam week and hope for the best um, after that. But uh, we do still have a lot of music making to come. We've got some, uh, choral concerts included in uh, all of that, and we want to invite you to share those moments with us too as we, uh, as we move forward. We have one more tune for you tonight, and uh, this one is a heavy, head-banging 60s rock song entitled Them Changes. It was recorded by a guy named Buddy Miles who uh, had played drums with Jimi Hendrix's group. And so on a tune like that, you just gotta feature the guitar, and we're going to do that. Uh, Octavio Rosas Dominguez will be featured on this one, and you'll hear also once again from Brian Searcy and uh, the whole group. So this one, I, be I bet you'll recognize it even if you wouldn't have known the name of it, but the name is Them Changes by Buddy Miles.
changes. Corey St. John on the bass, Mark Smith on the drums, Jacob Dawson on the piano, Ben Bunnell percussion, Octavio Rosas Dominguez on the guitar, and all those horn players. Man. Thank you once again for coming to hear us play. That is all the music that we currently know. Check us out in about three weeks at the holiday dinner. We'll know some other songs, but hopefully we'll see you then. Good night.